and I will start the meeting. Okay? So, first thing on the agenda would be roll call. All right. Commissioner DeBazio. Here. Commissioner Andrewa. Here. Commissioner Heber. Here. Commissioner Rosa. Here. Commissioner Jones. Okay, Commissioner Jones called and said that he's going to be 10 to 15 minutes oh, late. So, but we can move forward. The first thing on the agenda is the approval of the minutes of the meeting of September 10th, 2012. So move. Do we have a second? We have a second. All in favor? Aye. Okay, we have bills and correspondence for your review. The next thing on the agenda are is employee and tenant issues. Now I see that there are a number of people here. And so if I could suggest some order to the, this particular section, and what I would like to do is before we get into McDonald's house issues, if we can talk about other housing authority uh, locations first, if there's anyone from Cahill or from Forsander or from any place, and I see, okay, and so if you just stand up and if you would just identify yourself, please. I'm Joyce Smola from Cahill. Hi, Joyce. Um, first on the list is a maintenance list that I gave to Michael Wollins, and we had good communication, and the most important thing to me was all the holes over near D building, and apparently the senior center, the city, and housing, and all the said we were supposed to have it five years ago, but all we no. kept getting was patchwork. I no, don't know. I wasn't here. There wasn't a, there was, it, was not, it was not on a formal list five years ago. Um, the capital program where all of these things were identified um, is about two years old. And now that now the state in July came out and approved our capital plan for the first five years, which the board um, talked about, in which I, I went around each of the um, tenant associations and talked about. Um, but Cahill's roadway and sidewalks are not in the first phase. Um, however, at the request of several residents, we are this fall going to be putting a couple of curb cuts in, which will make travel from uh, D building up the road, the roadway a little easier. Well, that's a start. Thank you. My third, I'll say this the best I can. My first time I came to a meeting, I was allowed to speak. And I didn't know the rules, and it was my extra verbiage. And then the second meeting, I was sat down immediately. I watched other people sit down immediately. And then last week, we spent over a half hour on an issue at McDonald House. And I'm just going to ask questions because I'm way behind in finding out how things should work, especially kind of related to the HIPAA rules about the people with mental health issues and how it all works. But what I found was that for whatever reason there was a there was a lot of cross dialogue and it was a half hour. It sounded to me like this should have been something ironed out with social services, the security office, the executive people, the police and I I've talked with um, Sergeant Kerouac. He's great, he's interested in mental health issues. And I'm missing somebody else. So anyway we'll come to you. The important thing is, I didn't understand because when I was at a meeting at Tolvin, the poor soul, she interrupted you, John, and after she had her turn and she was sat down and, and you know, it, it was just so abrupt. And last, last week it was a half an hour of, to me, it's a tenant issue. I understand it's been going on over the years, 
and it's exacerbated, there have to be answers. That's all I can say. I'm sorry who else I took out of these are social workers. I, I don't understand why this hasn't been you know, resolved and brought to, to bear. And um, when you have a certain number of people, this happened over in one of our buildings, when you have a number of people, let's say all of these people, I said, I said, oh, you're, uh, you're vacuuming at 11 o'clock. Oh, you threw your tomato can out through my window. <laughs> you know, if, if uh, <laughs> all of these seven people or eight people, and it's me that's always doing it, but they're being yelled at. That happened over where I live. It does, I mean, after a while, you realize all seven or eight of those people can't all be wrong. Their perceptions might be accurate. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Anyone else from another housing? Yes. Would you just state your name? Carolyn Getter. And I live in Union City Hill Five. And there's been an issue with doors being propped, front doors being propped open. Um, like most of the day, every day. The issue had been addressed by the office before. There were notices posted on the front door saying don't do that. Uh, the notices were removed and it, it's, the problem has returned. It, it's now happening in not only my building, but another building there. And I've had people come in and knock on my door that were totally unexpected. Jim Pleasant just came in and I don't know. Too much issues what building do you in? Are you in, Carolyn? I'm sorry? What building are you in? G. And what's the other building that, yeah, we noticed G the other day when we were putting up some signs there. And what's the other building? Um, it's the one that's uh, direct, directly across from the laundry room. I'm not sure which building that's yeah. Yeah. Right, right behind the laundry room. Okay. We'll get notices out to the folks there again. Okay. For their, it's, it's for safety to keep the doors locked. Mm -hmm. There have been rocks put in the door every day, all day.
Thank you. Um, you made your point very clearly, very articulately, and I think, uh, Robert, that uh, the issue of the propping of the doors open is one that's largely needs to be self-policed by the residents of the building. Uh, they need to be convinced um, not to do it. Because as you say, um, we can't have the maintenance department uh, spending all of their time removing rocks that people are leaving open to get air in the building. Um, as for um, the drugs in, uh, in, uh, as being sold in Cahill, do you have information about that? Can I get Michelle Moriarty to hook up with you to discuss that I would, issue? I would be willing to talk to her about what I know about. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, just removed it and brought so it in, then it's not larceny. Work. Okay. I, well, okay. I removed the rock, they just bring a new rock. Okay, then, we'll, then what I need to suggest is that if you know who it is in your building that's putting the rock there, that you let us know. Okay? Thank you. And I just want to let everybody know, when I don't want people to be interrupting other people when they talk. I don't want to that. And I like everybody to be Anyone else that has issues other than the McDonald's house? Please state your name. Roy Martin, 81 Con Street, apartment 529. Uh, well, I mean, tonight, first off, I wanted to thank David and the maintenance crew because uh, this poor laundromat, they, they needed some repair, people had to repair, and they did it, and they did an excellent job.
give us and, and know. And, yeah. and I, what I'll do is I'll talk to Dan yeah. and see whether or not. Uh, Dan has the right. He has everything. Bank sales. Yeah. Uh, for me, he's got the liberty. Uh, oh, Roy, Rick only talked about okay. other issues. Okay. Right. Okay. And, and see whether or not he can uh, put a notice up or work with you to uh, put a notice up that if people want to volunteer, we have some projects that can be that can be done, some beautification projects. Um, and as for the carpets, we've started to do some um, work on, on extracting um, and cleaning, and um, we're going to continue. But thank you. from any of our other units. Okay, you can be brief. Oh yes. Thank you.
to see this happening time and time again. So I'm just saying the retaliation has been great. Uh, to me, and I guess to a number of other people that I've heard from, but I'm not reporting on. Just my own. Anyone else would like? Anyone else would like? Yeah. I had uh, an incident kind of like the same one that Elaine just described with the camera and the picture taken. I was having a cup of coffee one Saturday morning. As a matter of fact, last Saturday morning with another tenant, Elena Benesu, down in the lobby. Samana comes in between us. He had he put some paper up. He walked in here. He played a piece of classic music walked back down the hallway like he was going up to his apartment, then walked back down. Here comes he again. And all I said was, very nice play piece of music. But I'm still talking to Elena. He goes back down the hallway. Here he comes with Sacred Little Wings. Adelaida, if you want to talk to me, let's talk now. I said, no. All I said was, it was a very nice piece of music. Right there, the boys started raising, he, he started, the argument started, all of a sudden Janine comes off the elevator, needs Elena in an emergency, and following that, here comes Kathy Donahue with her camera. And all heck broke loose. Choice words were used by everybody. And the last thing that I was told as I was getting on the elevator as I'm saying I'm going to go call the police again was, you're not going to call the police on me, right, Adelaida? And every time, every time I walk out my door, there's somebody standing at the edge of the hallway, which is Samana. And he's yell he yells into his apartment, sacred little. Here she is, I'm just standing in the hallway. Is she gonna, you think she's gonna call the police again? And that's every time. Anywhere you go, anywhere, any of us go, they're there. And John Height, this is another for you. This is something that has to do with this. Her son called the police because she called up to them, and he said there was an assault. Uh, another neighbor, Mrs. Cipriani, called no harassment. Dispute over the shopping cart left in front of the door. Cart moved. Uh, Adelaide Rivera complimented me on my plan, and I said to her, with you, I don't want any peace against the screen, she said, I'm frightened of you, well, I never struck a human being in my life, I'm a pacifist, she said, well, I have, and I have a record, and I'm up to here, and if you don't watch out, and I took that as a thing as a threat, I have not threatened a human being in this building, <coughs> there is a collusion to damage my good name, as an attorney said to me earlier today, there is a current harassment prevention order against two neighbors, threatening me physically, we're going to harm you, we're going to make you dead. And the risks that have been torn down in the building, I've witnessed it too. I feel for Elaine in relation to that. The first list to be torn down said 4 p.m. free, everyone welcome. Free organic food available. Uh, I simply would like to have my civil rights, my rights of tenancy respected. Sitting behind me and glaring at me, and I have had him. Been... 
first in my face in the presence of witnesses. And I had outstanding maintenance requests that I had put in for a decade, one of which is 10 years old and has not been done. I understand other folks have different relationships with maintenance uh, department in this building.
Mr. Kirby. He did, I believe, uh, introduce himself to the chair prior to the meeting and indicate that that's what he was going to do. And that's what he's doing. Speak up, could you? Excuse me, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I have a point of information. I hate to do, but I think I know where all those uh, leaflets no, came from. I am okay. Not Oh, that's, I, now I realize. I don't want to uh, be on. For a period of months, we've been uh, 